Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We join you today from the North Central Research Station at Lahoma for the annual Wheat Field Day. First up today, we're talking about the quality of the crop out here and taking a look at the latest variety trials. One of the great things about Lahoma is getting a chance to look at our OSU wheat varieties and how they're performing right here at the North Central Research Station. So Amanda, let's dive right in. Well, what are you telling producers today? So here today we have about 50 wheat varieties and uh, basically what you're looking here, uh, it's in this first four ranges, we have varieties under what we call standard management practices. So they're all planted at 60 pounds per acre. We have a medium nitrogen rate, no fungicide application. Uh, and then in the back, we have our trials under intensive management. Uh, management. So basically, we have seeds per acre basis, so all wheat varieties are planted on 1.2 million seeds per acre. Additional 50 pounds of nitrogen to what we did in this trial and two fungicide applications. So it's basically looking at this as a system. Uh, possibly this year we are not going to have any fungicide effect, but it doesn't really matter because we are not intending to separate factors for this intensive management. So we really want to see varieties uh, potential in performance when we try to push for yields, when we manage it a little better, so or better or more. Um, and so basically that's what we are seeing here. Uh, producers have the chance to look at varieties. So we have a little bit of barley yellow dwarf here so they can look some of them. They can look at a stand. Uh, they can look how they are holding up during this drought year. Uh, I will say that this is one of the best looking uh, wheat variety trials that I have seen so far under under dry environments. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the wheat looks, you know, really, really good. And you, you mentioned those dry conditions, you know, drought is obviously on the mind of a lot of producers. Is there, are those some of the questions that you're hearing about today? Yes, and it's it's more like, more than a question, it's just a fact at this, at this point, right? Uh, I was just up at Northwest early this week and um, this week and, and we are seeing a lot of drought stressed wheat, so a lot of uh, short stand and, and it's a thin crop and it's, the, it's, a, it's a struggle, but producers are very uh, resilient people. Wheat is a very resilient crop and it's amazing to see uh, how the wheat is uh, faring considering the little bit of water that we got. It was um, impressive to see uh, at our plots at Alva, for example. We are finding some diseases and uh, mites is still active in some of these locations, so that doesn't help our drought stressed wheat. Not much we can do at this point. And so that is a little, it's a little more tough and adds up on, the, on, our, on our stress here for sure. So what, so what type of varieties in particular are going to hold up better with those drought, uh, those drought conditions? Well, in, in some varieties just do have that drought tolerance in their, in their genetics. And that's what it is. So it's just depending on genetics at this point. And we can, we can see that. So you see that it doesn't reduce its height as much. It doesn't reduce its tillering ability as much. Uh, but in some situations, like when we were Southwest Oklahoma, the drought is just too much. And so it's almost uh, difficult to see any difference among varieties. It's just so, so bad. What are some other questions that you're hearing about today in regards to these varieties? Um, you've already done a few talks today. So what, what are some other questions that producers are asking you? Well, they're always interested to learn about other traits, like disease is not a problem this year, but usually stripe rust, leaf rust. Uh, we are hearing a lot of uh, fields with wheat streak mosaic viruses and what they can do. Brown wheat mites, it's been a big uh, issue this year. But other than that, we are just like, we keep praying for rain so we have enough water for that crop to keep filling up the grain. Uh, and that is going to be very important right now. And there's a, you know, there's still a lot going on, but at least today it's not windy out here at Lahoma, like yes. many years past. Yes, those hot, <laughs> windy days is not really helping our crop at all, so. All right, thanks, Amanda. Dr. Amanda Silva, small grain specialist here at Oklahoma State University.